always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Welcome back. It's sunny, it's calm, it's mild. We're basically checking all the boxes for a terrific spring day here today. We are going to carry over a lot of this warmth into Tuesday also, but we will have increasing clouds. And by tomorrow evening, there is a growing chance of showers. By the middle of this week, it looks like we'll have rounds of rain and thunderstorms as we'll start to chill things back off some. For the time being, though, a magnificent view there at the Gerald R. Ford International Airport. Bright sunny skies above. Our current temperature is measured at 63 degrees, and the wind is basically absent calm conditions being observed checking out temperatures across the midwest it's 57 degrees in wausau 58 in minneapolis already hitting 70 in des moines they had a record high there yesterday 56 in traverse city 61 in flint 62 on the east end of the state for detroit tightening the focus for west michigan here you can see the temperatures range from the upper 50s in ludington to 71 in benton harbor it's currently 69 in kalamazoo 63 the update in ionia and right here in grand rapids it is just a little a little bit cooler than the same time yesterday. Temperatures have descended by about five degrees. That's due to the wind shifting more to the north, and it looks like that will pour in slightly cooler air heading through time. But you can see the wind speeds are pretty negligible out there under 10 miles per hour. Precipitation chances, again, those are going to be on the way up as we continue through our Tuesday. They look to reach a peak on Wednesday before a falling chance of showers into the weekend, drying things back out. We'll put things in motion here with future cast. It shows that as we get into the overnight period, tonight into Tuesday we'll have a eruption of some strong storms as you go through Iowa and into Nebraska. It looks like those will continue to shift further east toward Grand Rapids and West Michigan. And by tomorrow night, there is a good chance of seeing some scattered showers dotting the radar. We'll have a continuation of that into Wednesday. You can see some more strips of showers, perhaps some thunderstorms rolling through, carrying over a small chance of some showers into Thursday. And then finally, it looks like we'll be able to dry things out this weekend. There could be some severe weather. You can see an enhanced risk for parts of South Dakota into Nebraska and Kansas near Lincoln, Nebraska. That appears to be the focal point for some of the strongest storms today. That system continuing to shift east as the week continues, and we should expect to see uh, a small chance at seeing some severe weather on Wednesday. A marginal risk, mainly for points south of I-96. There could be large hail and damaging winds associated with those storms. A fair amount of rain also expected to uh, fall across the area. This is looking at Grand Rapids on a few different models, ranging between about a half an inch and an inch coming on Wednesday and Thursday. Should be a quiet night out there, though. Tonight, comfortable. The temperature falls off to 43. Clouds will filter in over the course of the day tomorrow. Still pleasant, though, with an afternoon high near 70. There's a glance forward in the eight-day forecast, hanging on to a chance of showers into Thursday. You can also see that reduction in temperatures, 54 on Friday afternoon. Highs just over 50 degrees Saturday and Sunday. Partly cloudy skies through the weekend. The possibility of some frosty mornings Sunday morning and again on Monday morning as lows descend to about 30 degrees. Sue?